conquerors. Turn the other cheek. Pray for those who persecute you. Bless those who spitefully use you. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. Get ready to read all these words on this page without making a mistake. Look at the letter at the end and remember the sound it makes. Get ready. Kite. Yes, kite. Get ready to read this word the fast way. Get ready. Kick. Yes, kick. Sound it out. Get ready. Kick. Sound it out. Get ready. Kick. What word? Kick. Yes, kick. Boys and girls, sound this word out. Get ready. Steal. What word? Steal. Yes, steal. Read these words the fast way. Get ready. Play. Yes, play. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Let's read these words the fast way without making a mistake. Get ready. Kite. Yes, kite. Get ready. Kick. Yes, kick. Get ready. Steal. Yes, steal. Get ready. Play. Yes, play. Get ready. Must. Yes, must. Go to go speak the reader up from under your seat. Open your book up to lesson 60 on page 153. <laughs> Pretend you don't know Quit looking there Just do what you told There is a lion It's written all over their face You can see it It ain't what they say They keep doing things Their own way There is a lion It's written all over their face It's written all over the face Yeah, we're barely breathing We live in a haze One nation under God Has fallen from grace Their eyes are lying It's written all over the face The image you're looking at right there Blowing off the entire north face of that building They take what they want It's written all over their face They pledge to a flag But won't you dare Will you believe me When the rivers run red Their eyes are lying It's written all over their face Mamas don't cry Wake each other up History is fake Cause money It's written all over the face. Forty million dead red men. They raped the women and killed the children. Their eyes are lying. It's written all over the face. Let's move on to the U.S. currency. I made my point. Praise God. I think I did it. Okay, here we go. These are all the, this is all the stuff I worked on to bring this message to you guys. I gotta show them this one real quick, Chris. This is an alien head right here, guys. There's the eye, and there's the eye, and there's the nose, and there's the mouth right there. Okay, you can see it in negative imagery too. But I want to show you where it came from. It's kind of cool. I just, you know, I pick stuff up all over the place. I'm just going to share this one with you. Is the Journey CD. Look. Dun, dun, it, uh, uh, uh. Don't stop believing. That's right. <laughs> yeah, don't stop believing what? Exactly. Jeez, look at that. Look at the big alien head. See it? And the flames of hell are coming out. Look, it's coming out of the pit. And it says Revelation. Whatever. Yeah, okay, whatever. Dude, I see it, guys. Uh, I'm sorry. I see this stuff all over the place. It's, it's 
pretty amazing. Okay, now we're going to do the U.S. currency, but we're going to do something first. Chris, um, you know what? If anybody doesn't know how, how to fold this bill, would you toss me that bill over there and I'll just fold it for him one time? Here, here's the way you fold one of the bills, look, just so you know. You, you, you always, this is the $1 bill, so I'm just going to use an example. You always fold it in half, okay? And then you fold it in half again, and you're left, you know, with this. Then look, then you open it back up, and then you fold it up like this and like this. And that leaves you a pyramid on one side. And then Isaiah said, those who try and hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. I'm just switching it with the $10 bill. Those who try and hide their plans from the Lord are doomed. They carry out their schemes in secret and think no one will see them or know what they're doing. They turn everything upside down. So, boom, there is a tidal wave coming over a seven-story building. Uh, if you haven't seen the Justin Messenger series I did, uh, the Lord let me prophesy on it, and it's, for the most part, happened. I'll tell you what, it was done in 2008, and uh, the prophetic utterance that the Lord let me speak then for the most part has happened. I want to show you something with this thing. Now check it out. You want to check this out. Let's see. Let's go over here, Chris. You know what? Okay, can you see that right there? There you go. Okay, y'all, I like doing this with you guys. This is fun. This is way more fun than trying to do, uh, you know, some, you know, bells and whistles thing. I just like everybody in my office. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's just outline this, okay? We're just going to outline this thing. Oops, sorry, I want to make it nice. There we go, nice and tight. There we go. Check this out. So, I'm going to do that. So, I outlined that bill. Now, there you go. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to connect the dots, and I'm going to go dun, dun, dun. And then, let's see, I'll, I'll try and use uh, some kind of a little straight edge here. Oh, there we go. Uh-huh. And then I'll go like this. And we'll go dun 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 like that. And then I'll go from here to this corner like this. And we'll go like that. Uh-huh. And then I'll go I'll do the same over here. That'll be kind of cool. And then we'll go like that. Okay. Cool. And then I'll just go from this corner to this corner and we'll see what we got. Okay. Let's have a look at that. That's a, uh, that's a pentagram. That's a pentagram. And it's also a Mindy's Goat. Chris, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. And I'll let you back up and just kind of zoom back. Yeah, just, there you go. Sorry, guys. Anyway, it's all good. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put this over here for a second. I'm going to drop this. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to save that. Okay, you know what, Chris? I'll set this right here just for a second. Because we got a couple more things to do. Hang on, guys. Sorry about that. I want you all to recognize the pentagram. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go Google, and we're going to type in the symbol for the devil, the symbol for the devil, the symbol for the church of Satan. The, those that worship the devil. They have their own church, the church of Satan. So let's just, their symbol is called the Mindy's. Go, okay? It's a G-O-A-T, a Mindy's Go. Baphomet, okay? So let's see. Uh, let's see here if... Um, there we go. There's the Mindy's Go. Well, let's have a look at it. Let's just open this up. Um, well, these guys are not... Let, let's go back. Here we go. Here's a full image. There you go. Now, let me ask you guys a question. Do you see any remarkable similarities maybe between here and here. See the pentagram right in the middle? Is there a pentagram right in the middle there? Is there an upside down star maybe? Wow! Holy crap! Sorry guys. God doesn't make us stand on ceremony. You know, a lot of you Christians, oh my God! He said holy crap! He's gonna go... No, God doesn't care. Okay? Look at that! Look at that! Boom! Boom! The two horns, horn, horn. The head, the head. The pentagram. The ear, the ear. Ear, ear. The mouth, the mouth. You got a, a, a Mindy's go. You got the Church of Satan. Check that out. How about that? Now check this out. Let's let's see something really cool. 
Remember the Twin Towers was bombed? You know why? Because they hate us. They, they that are doing this, the race of beings that is doing this, they hate you. Watch the movie Apocalypto if you want to see what you mean to them. You know, all these people are like, we're going to change the government. No, you're not. You're not going to do anything. They're going to do what they want to you no matter what. Well, if we pray for the nation, no. Not going to happen. I don't, I just, it frustrates me. It's not going to happen. The nation is going down. We are under judgment. We are coming under God's wrath because we've turned our backs on God's. The chance that you have is to be made whole by the blood of Jesus Christ. Only chance. That's it. You're not going to save your life for what's coming. I guarantee it. For what's coming, you will not be able to save your life. But you can save your soul. Turn to Jesus Christ. Watch this. So when we make a pyramid out of any of the U.S. currency and we turn the pyramids upside down, we get a series of images, and we're going to look at the first image right here. And we're going to look at the Twin Towers. Okay, there's the Twin Towers. There's the Twin Towers. They've been hit. This is printed on the $20 bill made in 96. Now watch this. Oh, look at the smoke expanding. Look at that. Wow, that is amazing. That's just really amazing stuff. I can't. It's 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 almost impossible to believe, but it's true. I want I want to grab. See if I can grab a pointer. Here we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. You know. You see the smoke in here. Uh, and here's a twin tower right here. You can see it. There it is. I'll just you know obviously the other the other side right here. You know. There it is. So that blocks them in the line in the middle. There they are burning. Look at the smoke coming down. Okay, well, that's a $20 bill on one side. No. Let's look at the other side of the exact same bill. This may take just a second to find the image. The Pentagon should be right here. Nope. Yeah, there we go. I might be able to use this one. It's, it's a very extremely high res image. Yeah. There's the federal building bot. There's the Pentagon guys right here. Have a look. Everything above the line. See everything above this line right here? Here's the Pentagon. There the windows are right. Let's see, let me get a pointer. I don't even see my pointer. There it is. Here are the windows are right here. There the windows are. Here's the. By the way, the Pentagon has three rows of square windows. Here's a rectangular building. Here's the smoke. Here's the. You know, there's an offset in the building. The rectangular building. You're looking at an image of the Pentagon after the bombing. There you go. Try and argue with that. Let me move it down a little bit so. You, there you go. There's your Pentagon. It's a blood sacrifice, guys. Get it? Wow. Isn't that amazing? Okay, well, let's just keep looking. We just saw one bill that's one bill has the Pentagon and the Twin Towers on it. Let's look at uh, the old $20 bill. There it is. Well, here we go. This was around when I was a kid. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. Here's the old $20 bill. Here's the federal building bombing in Oklahoma City. Here's the building blown up. Look at the concussion waves. Look at the explosion. These lines were cut into, you know, uh, plates. Look at that. Watch this. Ready? Let's watch the smoke expand. Look at that. Look at the building blowing in half. Okay, guys, this is not a coincidence. You Here, should tell the story of how that you discovered that. Some people may think that there's some software or that you went and manipulated. The oh, no, it was an accident, yeah. yeah. Tell the story of how you discovered that this is a, This is unbelievable. I had a the, skin. Listen, the this is, plates. Yeah, this is a whole different thing. This is crazy. I did not use this program. I don't use this program. I use Adobe Photoshop. 
And so I just decided I wanted to see all my pictures at one time, so watch this. I decided to, I put it in this other program, and if you hit the browse button right here, if you hit browse, it, it shows you all your pictures at once, like this. And I needed to see all my pictures at one, everything I've decrypted at one yeah, time. That's gives a lot. you a thumbnail. Yeah, it gives, you, it gives you a thumbnail of every single thing I've decrypted in one file. <laughs> and I went, wow, that's pretty cool, man. I can see all my work at yeah, one time. And Adobe just has it listed individually. Yeah, you got to read it. You got to have the name for it. I was like, man, that's insane. I can't find what I'm looking for. So I put in this program and I just went, you know, um, you know, I'll just uh, click. I just decided one day. I was going to click on one image, <laughs> and I clicked on it, and I went, whoa, you're kidding. It showed the it showed the images like you're seeing them now. And here you go. Let me see. Let's get, yeah, let's get, let's see. Where are those guys go? Ah, anyway, I'll just grab them again. They're right here. Here they are. Boom. Okay, so yeah. So... And I uh, I clicked on it, and then as I was enlarging it, you know, I was hitting this button. I'm like, the grain's disappearing. I'm going, well, wow, look, it's it's looking like. And I saw all these little lines. I was like, wait, but look at the dark spots. See them? See the whole different layer in here? Look at that. See how it's like shaded? I was like, wow. And as I decreased it, look, oh, whoa, whoa. So look at this. There's the twin towers right here. And the federal building bombing. Guys, Chris, I gotta show them the artwork. This is my artwork. These are metal walls. I use grinders that cut different depths and I make images on them. That's identical. I'm gonna move the light around so they can see how it changes. Look. You yeah. see how you see different images as I move the light? Well, that's what you guys saw in the other video with that, you know, the stuff that's in the other room. And it's got um, colored lights on it. But so check it out. Even the artwork I was doing when the Lord was calling me is playing a role in what I'm showing you. <laughs> is that unbelievable? It's insane. Anyway, so check it out. Here we go. There it is. There's a federal building bombing blowing up. There's the Twin Towers. You got two different $20 bills. Let me show you what they are. Uh, you got the new 20, uh, you got the new 20 and the old 20. Here's the new 20. Let me show you something about trees so you know. Where's the trunk to this tree? What does a tree grow like this? What does a tree like hang way over here? With the, where the trunk would have to be right here. That doesn't look like a tree. Look at this That's tree. The most leafy tree I've ever seen. It's, it's the leafiest tree without a trunk I've ever seen. So, so it's just a massive shrubbery. Yeah. <laughs> what shrubbery? <laughs> meek. Where are the mites of meek? Um, here, here, look at this. Here's, here's the old 20 that makes a federal building mummy. So look at this. They changed the artwork in order to hide their little agenda. Every time they bomb a building, it's a blood sacrifice, you guys. Um, which brings me to my point. We're going to show you the next blood sacrifice that's coming. And uh, get ready because there's two of them. Now, I showed you the $10 bill. I, I made the pyramid. I turned the pyramid upside down. And I drew the Mindy's. I, I drew the... Hey, you go. Watch this. Uh, anyway, those who try and hide their plans, which is the pyramid and, you know, the pen is saying, they turn everything upside down. There's the image. And that's the new $10 bill. I'm going to show you what this turns into. Here you go. Okay, let's look at the trees again. The trees tell the story. Let's look at the trees. Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys. Let's keep it right there, Chris. There we go. Okay, more or less. Uh, I don't want to shrink it too much more. Okay, look at this tree right here. Look at the movement of the tree. It's going this way. Look at that. What is this? Look at the tree. Look at the movement of the lines. The lines are unidirectional. Look. See it? See it? All the lines go the same way. Let's look. So there's no trunk either. Let's look. Let's explore this. 
So this, it's got, look, there's no line. If you look at the old $10 bill, there's a border. You see the double line? Look. See the double line? See it? These trees are different also. There, you can see the big limbs in there, and they're different. They, that actually shows the Twin Towers on fire. Um, but look at the double line. Well, let's see. Why did they take the, they took the double line off? Let me show you why. Let's look at the other tree. Whoa, check that out. Look at that. You know what that looks like to me? Anyone ever go to the ocean and see a wave breaking? The way the waves break? They kind of fluffy up top, you know what I mean? Let's look at a big old tidal wave coming over a seven story building. Here's the tidal wave. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, by the way, the tidal wave looks black to me. Um, here's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, arguably a seven or eight story building. Now, here's a tidal wave coming over this building. But when I move my hand right down here, you're going to see this building's reflection in the water. Dun, 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 dun. See these lines right here? They make the reflection of this building right here. So starting right here, there's water in front of the building. And this is the reflection of this building in the water. So you're going to have an offshore nuclear attack on this country. And the reason I know that is because the Lord showed it to me. Yeah, the Lord. That's right, the Lord showed it to me for all you scoffers because y'all are caught by the way all you Satan worshipers news is out you can say all your little hateful comments you want you're busted busted anyway um, <laughs> God doesn't take any pleasure in the destruction of anybody and that includes you if you're watching this and you, you're not you're not willing to make that step to Jesus Christ. Here's the thing. God doesn't want to destroy you. But God is a righteous judge. He's a righteous judge. He, he is allowed to judge anyone He wants for anything He wants. That's why we should be so grateful when we get saved, man, because we deserve it. We're under judgment. We deserve condemnation. What, do, what did the guy on the cross say? I deserve this punishment I deserved it too. That's exactly how I got saved. I told the Lord, I said, you know what? I deserve to go to hell. I know it. I deserve it. I admit it. But, would you remember me when you come into your kingdom? Isn't that what the guy said? I told Jesus, I said, but if you're real, would you show me who you are? And would you just, would you just reveal yourself? Which Jesus are you? Could you just show me which one you are? Because I don't know which Jesus to look for. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you another, another image of another building that, that's about to happen. This is, it's actually not a building. It's the Hoover Dam. And so I'm going to go to the Hoover Dam right now. I have, a, I have the neighbor's cat. If you just slide that vacuum in front of No, that's not our cat, Chris. Just slide the vacuum in front of it and she'll go away. I have a neighbor's cat trying to come in my door. Ah. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's look at this. Here we go. This is amazing stuff. Okay, ready? We're going to look at the... Here's the old 50 and the new 50. I'm going to enlarge them. I'm going to show you what's about to happen. Behold the great wall which holds back the abundance of the river shall burst forth, bringing the hand of the oppressor against you. Read Isaiah 20... Or Isaiah 30. It says the whole, the whole thing will be like a high wall cracking instantly and suddenly. And there will be no escape. Watch this. <coughs> This is the old $50 bill. Look at these waves. Look at this pattern. As I change it, look at that. Wow. It's a scalar attack. I'm going to go to the new 50 that came out, and I'm going, to I'm going to go and show you what each 50 makes when you make a pentagram and turn it upside down. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go to the new 50. There we Oh, my gosh. Check this out. Check this out. Look at this right here. You see this? This is the new 50. I want to, you have to see this though. The old 50 has this line right here like the $10 bill. The new 50 has no line. It's been taken off from here to here, from here to here, it's got no line. So they took, they took the line off for a very specific reason. Look at these lines right here. See these? Look how fluffy the white is. Looks almost like clouds. It's water. It's water flowing. 
Watch this. Here we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Here's the old $50 bill right here. It makes... Uh, I'm going to try and enlarge. There you go. It makes the Hoover Dam right here. Here's the Hoover Dam, guys. There's the spillway. Here's the big wall. Here's, you know, representation of the generators. I know the generators are on the back side. It's also a representation of two different DNAs. Those are DNA columns mixed with other DNA. When the Hoover Dam breaks, it'll be like water breaking in a birth. When the water breaks, the child is coming. There is a new race about to be birthed on the earth, and they're about to ready unleash the beast on the earth. The beast is inside of us. We're the beast. Surprise. The beast is in each and every one of our hearts. We have a cold, remorseless heart like that of a beast. Um, yeah, the heart of man is wicked. Who the, knows it? That's right. The heart of man is wicked. You can know it. Right. Okay, now here we go. This is a levee right here in the Midwest. This is water flowing over a levee. But I'm going to go to the new $50 bill that came out. Look at that. Look at the water flowing over the dam. See it? Here's all the water. Where the water containment go? Okay, Chris, just zoom out. I'm going to show them the water containment again. Water containment right there. Made by the lines. Wa oh, water containment. Yeah. Water containment missing. Water flowing. Mystery solved, guys. The beast is about to be unleashed on the earth. We're getting ready to have a time of unbelievable horror and sadness. The human race is getting ready to go into the greatest horror the world's ever seen. If you haven't figured it out by now, <laughs> God called me so I could warn you. My name, Jonathan Kleck, means Yahweh has given. Kleck means a bell ringer. Ding, ding, ding. We had so many problems trying to get this information down to get out to you guys that it's almost indescribable. I'm not kidding. We had two cameras go down. We shot three hours of tape that it was unbelievable. They got fried. Computer wouldn't accept them. We had HD problems. I had to shoot this in regular because the HD was picking up all the lines in the computers and it would have given everybody a serious headache. We had to change plane tickets just to keep Rick in town to be able to edit this down. So, guys, when I told you I would bake you the best cake I knew how to bake, here's your cake. It's the best cake I know how to bake. It's the best I can do. Um, I'm just trying to be me and trying to be what the Lord showed me and do what the Lord told me to do. I prayed before I did this. There was some, just for the record, there were some production thoughts about, well, these people are expecting, you know, this and that and... <clears throat> And here's what the Lord showed me. I prayed, I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? And I heard, do it the same as everything else you've done. Just talk to the people. Talk to my people. And I said, okay. I, I literally walked over and I opened up an 800,000 word book. After I said, okay, I heard you say, you want me to do it the same as everything else, but with creative content. And I heard, that's right. I opened up an 800,000 word book. The entire page said, imitation, the same as. So if anyone doesn't like this, take it up with the Lord, okay? Because I always do what He tells me. Always. Well, almost always. Sometimes when I don't, I get put back in the fire. <laughs> I get burned up some more.